Photoshop is unmatched when it comes to moving and removing items in a photo. So it's no surprise that those are among the most popular reasons for taking a photo from Lightroom to Photoshop for further editing, as we'll do in this video. Here I have a couple of photos in Lightroom to which I've already applied some basic photo adjustments. There's some content that I'd like to remove from this photo and move around in this photo. So with both of these photos selected, I'll right click either one and following the same workflow I showed you in the first video in this series, I'll choose Edit In, Edit in Adobe Photoshop. In this dialog, I'll choose Edit a Copy with Lightroom Adjustments and I'll click Edit. That launches Photoshop with both of those photos open here. I'm going to click on the Document tab for the first photo. In this photo, I'd like to try to remove some of these birds from the park. For that, I'm going to use a relatively simple content removal tool in Photoshop, the Spot Healing Brush tool. I'll move into the image, and with a brush tip that's just a little bit bigger than one of these birds, I'll click on the bird to remove it. I'll click on the shadow too, and I'll click on these other birds. I can also click and drag with this tool to remove multiple birds at once, and I'll take care of these birds as well. This tool does a great job of hiding content like this, but sometimes the spot removal tool may not be all you need. One of the benefits of removing content in Photoshop is that you have multiple tools to choose from. So let's try out one other tool. I'll go over to the Tools panel, I'll click on the Spot Healing Brush tool, and this time I'll choose the Patch tool. Up in the Options bar for the Patch tool, I'll make sure it's set to Content Aware. And then I'll move into the image, and with this tool I'm going to click and drag a boundary around the area that I want to remove. And I'm including a little of the grass inside this boundary as well, which is important to get the best result. When I get back to the beginning of my boundary and release my mouse, that creates a selection. I'll click and hold inside the selection, and I'll drag to another part of the image. And notice that as I do that, I can see inside the original selection what content is going to be used as a patch. I'll release my mouse, and Photoshop does its best to blend the resulting patch with the surrounding area. I don't need the selection anymore, so I'll go up to the Select menu, and I'll choose Deselect. I'm done removing content here in Photoshop, so I want to save the photo so that it automatically appears in Lightroom. To do that, I'll go to the File menu, and I'll just choose Save. As I explained in the first video in this series, that saves a copy of the file in the TIFF format with Edit appended to the file name. Now let's take a look at the other open image. Here, rather than remove content, I'd like to try to move some content. So I'm going to use a different tool. I'll go back over to the Patch tool, and from the same menu, I'll choose Content Aware Move Tool. With this tool, I'll draw a boundary around the object that I want to move, this baby horse. And as I did with the patch tool, I'm including a little bit of the surrounding grass inside of my boundary. When I get back to the beginning, that creates a selection. I'll click inside the selection and hold down, and I'm going to move the horse over and up a little bit, closer to his mother. Now, because I moved him up the hill, he really should be a bit smaller for perspective. So I'll click on one of the corner anchor points and drag in. And then I'll go up to the options bar and click the check mark. And in just a moment, the horse has moved and the area where he was is filled in with a matching patch. I don't need the selection, so I'll go to select and deselect. And I want to save this photo so that it appears in Lightroom 2. So I'll choose File and Save. Returning to Lightroom, you can see that there are now two copies in Lightroom of each of the photos that we passed from Lightroom to Photoshop and saved back to Lightroom. Here's the original JPEG of the park photo with just my Lightroom adjustments, and over here is the TIFF copy of the same photo with both my Lightroom adjustments and my Photoshop edits. Now that you know how to use Photoshop and Lightroom together, you'll have all the benefits of Photoshop's amazing content-aware retouching tools, in addition to Lightroom's organizing, sharing, and editing capabilities at your fingertips.